up people welcome to our video series cost of building in ghana this is the 15th episode so if you are new to this channel i would encourage you to check the previous episode so that you would appreciate where we've come from so in this episode we'll be looking at the steel bending works for the two bedroom section it usually starts with the making of the stirrups for the beams in our case, we use the 10 mm bars for the stirrups. The reason why we chose to use the 10 mm is because of the span of our beams. They are quite long, so we needed uh, something stronger to bind them. Generally, it's okay to use 8 mm, especially in Ghana where most people use um, load bearing blocks. 8 mm is more than enough to be used as the stirrups. I must say, however, that if you're using the 8mm, you should decrease the, the spacing of the stirrups at the junction where the beam meets the, the column. Usually a maximum spacing of the stirrup, a maximum spacing of four, four inches from one stirrup to the other is fine. Three inches is ideal. And then for so for the, the beams itself we use 16 mm and then for the slab we use 11.5. Now for a residential building it is pointless to use 14 mm for the for the slab, it's going to be just waste of money. You are okay to use 12 mm or 11.5 mm for the slab unless you using what you put in a water tank there's absolutely no reason to go for 14 mm um, i'm saying this because of some questions that we had in the past a common bad practice in ghana is the artisans usually put that the steel vendors usually put the same number of bars at the bottom and the top now concrete has good compressive strength but very weak in tension so the bars are supposed to be more at the bottom than at the top so if you followed our videos you would notice that we we put three of the 16 bars at the bottom and then we put two at the top however at the junction of the beam and the column where there is tension we include a third bar at the top but this doesn't span throughout the whole beam we just use it at the junction and the formula to determine how far you should move from the column is l over 4 that's the length of the beam divided by 4. so by the length you're looking at the length from one column to the other so once you divide it by 4 you know how wide that third bar is supposed to be for our case mostly it's between two and then four feet because we have about 15 um, feet pan of beam so we just put that in the middle i'm sure i explained this in the in one of the earlier episodes but if you pay attention to junctions of our beam and column you will notice that we have um, a third bar at the top don't waste resources by putting in the same number of bars at the top as you would for the down usually three at the bottom and two at the top should be fine another thing that you should also um, avoid is having continuous joints in the slab you it's always better to alternate the joints so that the point of weakness is not this, at the same location in instances where it's absolutely necessary to have continuous joints, as you would see, you can put in a secret beam. So for the projection that came from the three bedroom side, we had to put in the secret beam so that we can have those um, continuous joints resting on that secret beam, as you can see on your, on your screen. So, it's okay to also make sure when you put the end in the beam, make sure it extends past the beam. And that is the cantilever. So if you're doing a cantilever slab, 
just make sure you have the slab bars double and um, the reason is obvious because that has nothing supporting it below it's important that you have enough reinforcement to increase the strength of the cantilevered slab so that is the final work the spacing of the bars for the slab is six inches just like with the stirrups for the the beams and um, we used two tons of the 11.5 mm and then one ton of the 16 mm so for those um, doing their projects if it's a two bedroom slab you're doing you can um, you can have a fair idea how many tons of iron rods you need for this the workmanship was 3000 Ghana cities that's about $500 for the steel bending works and also for those who want to do the estimation themselves the length of the iron rod is supposed to be 30 feet but usually it's not up to so for your estimation it's okay to use 28 feet and with the quantities for the 16 mm you would have 70 pieces for the 11.5 mm you're going to have 150 pieces for the 10 mm which we used for the stirrups there are 170 pieces in the ton and we use one ton for two floors so basically half ton per floor for 14 mm even though we didn't use it on this particular floor if you want to get that you should be looking at 90 to 95 pieces per ton in a very unlikely happening we lost almost 2000 ghana cities in our purchase of iron rods between march 2021 and july 2021 and the reason is that iron rod prices just dropped um, now it is going for about 4600 per ton in accra meanwhile in march we bought one ton for almost 5600 and then the one we bought just in july for the last casting was 5200 so right now i wouldn't know whether to advise you to quickly buy it before the price goes up or the price is going to go down further but it's one of those things usually with construction you save when you to buy your materials quickly but for this instance we lost but it, it's all good it's one of those up and down moments associated with the building construction all right so let's look at the total cost for this stage unlike Previously, I'm not going to use the Excel sheet because it's just the price of the iron rods and the workmanship. So I would basically just mention the item. So that is one ton of iron rod, 16 mm, two tons of 11.5 mm, and then one ton of the 10 mm, which we used half, and then we bought four rims of binding wire and then the workmanship of three thousand so for this stage we spend about twenty three thousand Ghana cities that should be a little over four thousand dollars all right so for our bonus discussion for today we'll be looking at one vip comment and the vip comment was from samuel hagan he was asking about premix concrete that's the one those ones in the truck in relation to the concrete mixer we were using in fact it, this was something i wanted to touch on but it escaped me so once he brought it up i felt it was okay for me to capture it here so in 2019 when we were just about doing our first casting i went around to check on the prices of the premix this is what i found and so the prices i'll be providing is based on my my findings in 2019 
and I believe it can still help with your um, decision on which one to use. So I went to this premix concrete place near Adenta SDA Junction. They are just by the main Madina Adenta Road. So they gave me this estimation, as you can see on your screen, the price per cubic meter for C25 or C30, which is typically what you would use for your decking. It's 561 Ghana cities and 582 Ghana cities respectively. When we did the calculation, it was going to cost us about 18,000 Ghana cities then. And then that was based on the calculation of a minimum of three trucks for just the two bedroom side. Each truck is 12 cubic meter and we're going to need at least three of them. And then the calculation is based on an online one. If you just Google concrete quantity needed calculator, you would have multiple options. You just need to put in the thickness that you need, which in our case was six inches. And then the breadth and then the length of the slab. We however had to abandon this option because it was way too expensive because of the size of our beams. The width of our beams were wide and the depth was too deep so going for this option was too expensive it was a little over twice the cost of the mixer approach we used so for instance we spent about 9,000 Ghana cities on the approach that we use whereas if we had gone for this option it was going to cost us about 18,000 Ghana cities as I mentioned. This would have been fine but for the size of our beams. If we were using a normal beam size I'm sure the cost would just be about 50% more or even less based on the calculation that we did and it would have been way better than the concrete mixer approach that we use because um, it's simpler and faster. Of course, the concrete will be of better quality because everything is measured. With the approach that we use as a concrete mixer, people are loading wheelbarrow. Sometimes the wheelbarrow will be full, other times it wouldn't be that full, stones, the same thing. So definitely this option will give you a stronger concrete because everything is measured in the right proportion and is consistent. The final thing I will discuss on the premix concrete is the pump. As you can see on your screen, for anything that requires a hose length of 36 to 42 meters, you will be paying 2000 Ghana CDs. That's exclusive of that. And then for a length of 56 meters plus, you will pay 5,000 Ghana CDs, also exclusive of that. However, if you order more than three trucks, which is anything from 36 cubic meters and above, you will get the pump for free. So that is it for this episode. Feel free to post all your questions in the comment section below. We certainly do answer all questions on um, Sundays. And remember, websites, phone numbers, email addresses are automatically filtered out, so we may not see your comments if you include any of these. Thank you for watching. So watch out for the next episode and see you in a bit. Enjoy, people.